You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly prediction edition for Young and the Restless. I have got predictions for Sharon and Ashley, one for Jordan, one for Kyle and Claire, one for Nikki and Jordan, and one for Heather and Lily with a side order of Daniel Romilotti. I'm so excited to tell you guys about this. And as always, remember, our predictions are based on official CBS soap opera spoilers as well as recent episode activity. Let's dig right in. Please click subscribe if you haven't. Our first prediction, I think Sharon Newman is going to recommend that Ashley be sent to Fairview Psychiatric Hospital. The spoilers related to this Monday the 8th, Ashley swaps personalities in front of Audra Charles. She swaps from Ash, who's like this teenage ponytails and her hair girl, over to... It looks like Ashley or Ms. Abbott. She's got three personalities plus her core personality. We haven't met the third one yet, but they did confirm that it's her plus three three more. So on Monday, you're going to see a scene of those three personalities. It's like a scene from inside her head, and they're each in these beds. It's very strange. Audra tells Tucker, okay, I think you're right. There is something really wrong with her. She is off her rocker. Tuesday the 9th, there's the Abbott family intervention that is going to really annoy Ashley. Wednesday the 10th, spoilers say Ashley is in a power struggle. I feel like this is internal and not external. Like in her head, her trying to get these altars to quiet down and they're jockeying for control of the body. And Thursday the 11th, Jack makes a distress call to Sharon And Ashley struggles in a new environment. This new environment may be the psych hospital. I don't know. So my prediction about Sharon recommending Ashley be put inpatient, I just have to assume that we're building up to a huge climax to Ashley's story in April sweeps, which kicks off April 25th. Clearly, Ashley needs help. Fairview is the only mental hospital that I've ever seen mentioned on YNR, but there's also the psych ward where Claire was at the hospital hospital. And of course, she's got these three other people in her head and things are going to get wild. We should meet the third personality this week. And this definitely seems like a very serious inpatient matter, not something for coffee shop therapy over at the couch at Crimson Lights. Hopefully, Sharon will recommend they take her to get serious, serious help. Our second prediction, I think Jordan Howard is going to commit a huge party foul by the end of the week. So the spoilers for next week say the big 40th anniversary party kicks off April 11th, that's Thursday, and then kicks up into high gear on Friday, April 12th. Nikki and Victor are celebrating the 40th anniversary of the very first time they got married, the first of several times they got married. And I just, we we know already from official spoilers, uh, they released a whole pile of stuff to TV Guide about the party. Jordan Howard will show up at the party and she is set to wreak havoc. And that happens, looks like April 12th. We may get a glimpse of her on the 11th, but I expect this all to carry over to Monday, April 15th. And I do expect a big party foul. I mean, realistically, there's no telling what Jordan would or could do. She could poison the punch bowl. She could tamper with the entrees. She could poison just the Newman's drinks, you know, tamper with a bottle of champagne. Do you remember that big gala gosh, maybe like two, three years ago, time flies, you guys know, where it was a big, one of their big parties in Victoria got stabbed. So I wonder if we're going to get something bloody like that or something more like poisoning, things like that. And I do wonder if someone's going to die. If somebody is going to die, I I'm leaning towards one of the Howards, either Cole or Jordan, but we shall see. Our third prediction, I think Kyle Abbott really wants Claire as a nanny, maybe as a more. So spoilers for next week. April the 12th, we have the debut of new Harrison Locke Abbott. I think his name is Redding Munsell, if I have that right. And the his debut the same day as the party has people wondering if he's going to be at the party since a lot of the Newmans are going to be there. I know that Summer is there with Chance as her date. I don't know if Kyle is there. In the photos I've seen so far, I haven't seen Kyle, but I think there's going to be a ton of people there. 
And the spoilers for the day before on the 11th, Summer stands her ground with Kyle. And I think she is going to be pushing back on him because I think he is going to want to hire Claire to be Harrison's new nanny because she's the only person that Harrison has liked. And we know Claire's desperate to work with kids. And I do think Kyle really likes her and he feels a vibe with her, which is interesting that Kyle is completely willing to give Claire a second chance after she tried to kill so many people in Summer's family, but he wouldn't give Summer a second chance for, you know, not blabbing when her mom was playing dead. She, this may rub her the wrong way. We'll see. Claire could also prove to be a serious challenge to Summer's position as Harrison's non-biological and now ex-stepmother. Do you guys remember? Drop in the comments if you do. I cannot remember if she ever formally adopted Harrison, which would give her a different standing. I mean, of course, Harrison sees her as mom, but there are legalities and things to think about. So remind me in the comments if you recall her adopting or if it was just that she married him and was the stepmom. All right. Our fourth prediction, I think Nikki Newman is either going to get drunk at the gala or show up drunk to the gala. And that means she might be easy pickings for Jordan, even more vulnerable than she would be were she showing up sober. Next week, spoilers from Monday the 8th. Nikki is nipping from a bottle of vodka that she managed to pick up while nobody was looking. What happened to Larry, the bodyguard? I hope thought he was keeping a good eye on her, but she's got a bottle of vodka and it even just says vodka on it in case you weren't sure. Tuesday the 9th, Nikki breaks a promise to Victor, maybe about the drinking. Thursday, April 11th and Friday, April 12th, of course, the party kicks off. And if Nikki is still hitting the bottle, which I suspect she will be, she will be much more vulnerable. And Nikki also may be overconfident because of the boozing and she could get seriously hurt. Remember when she's been drunk before she, you know, told Jordan, like, come at me. And that was the whole showdown at that abandoned fishing cabin when Jordan had kidnapped Claire. Remember Nikki was drunk, showed up drunk and they had that whole thing happen. So we'll see how it goes. My fifth and final prediction, I think Heather may file a wrongful termination suit against Lily and Chancellor Winters. Tuesday, April 9th, next week, spoilers say Daniel wants another chance with Lily. Not not romantically, but professionally. He goes to her about wanting Omega Sphere to be his. And Lily absolutely reads him for filth because she said the game was to help him reconcile with his daughter, Lucy. They are fully reconciled and he has betrayed her. He is back with Heather. He basically got everything he wanted to get out of the project. And the bottom line is he didn't pay to develop it. He had the concept, but he couldn't afford to do anything with it. Chancellor Winters, AKA Lily, paid for everything. And then he wants to walk away with it. And that's not generally how business works. However, Heather is on fire about the firing and she is an attorney and attorneys like to sue people. So I feel like a lawsuit seems likely. She might just file on behalf of Daniel to get that intellectual property away from them, or maybe she files a wrongful termination suit to try and force their hand and get a settlement. I think it's very likely. Devon and Billy both seem irritated with Lily for firing them, and Billy has made it very clear that he's Team Daniel and he thinks they should sue, but that might be him working an agenda, you know, because he is trying to take control of the company. So he might be doing that to embarrass Lily and make her look bad with his mom. That is definitely a Billy level scheme. All right. Those are all of our predictions for the week. Please drop your comments. Agree, disagree. If you think things are going another way, I love reading your thoughts about all this. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and be sure and come back soon because we are here talking young, the restless seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 